every now and then, I have my office call his office and beg him to come by and do stand-up because he's the best at it. Ladies and gentlemen, Bill Cosby. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this, no, this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this, <laughs> this, is, this is one of those shows, man. Uh, bank this one forever, you know, and send it wherever. Uh, no, no, I mean, send it to good places, good people, because this, uh, nothing was predictable here. These, uh, the, the wrestlers, they have big bodies. I saw them. It's, uh, yeah, everything is, the guy had pecs. The, I mean, his peck was all, if I put my body up to his, his, his peck would be, if I took his peck and put it, <laughs> really, if I took his peck, which is like this, now, here, and I put it there, that would be me, this whole side. <laughs> but see, um, they're going to get my age, and, and if, if they don't keep pumping, and you get, you get this. <laughs> Just get this, see, I used to have, now, now, Oh. Oh. You people just got out of prison, didn't you? <laughs> no, but I, I, I mean, now this is, this is it, and I used to have pecs, so you can't, you can't see any. <laughs> it's not there. You can see, like, money in my pocket, you know. Uh, well, you can you can see you can see the outline of a button, but there's no peck. <laughs> I used to have pecs, but they're gone. Know where they went? Here. <laughs> they when you get old, they slide down to here, and this is for your wife to grab, you know, to get you out of off the table from eating too much. But this this show tonight. Uh, I mean, real wrestlers, and I've never seen them hit each other. And it, did you hear the sound? They were, they were hitting, man. And the one guy with the tooth gone. <laughs> and uh, I was just in awe of people flying around and you have to talk. I can't even do their voice. You have to talk like that a long time, man. Not even singing. But I wanted to talk to you about a different kind of wrestling. Marriage. <laughs> the, the way things are going now, I better pick my coat up before somebody gets in it. <laughs> um, I've been married 20, 27 years. And... Uh, And with each year, my wife and I say the same thing we said when we had our first anniversary. Are we going to make it? <laughs> because we look at people married 50 years. I mean, there are people married 50 years. Do you understand what I'm saying? And you, I, I know a lot of you, any newlyweds, a year, two years, just applaud, just applaud. Yeah, okay. No, no, I don't mean, I don't mean just applaud for nothing. I mean, applaud if you're married a year or two. Yeah, okay. 
Now, I, you, you know that what you're saying is, I hope we make it that long. Well, you will. And the reason why you will, or better yet, the secret to, to will and can and did is to quickly establish to your mate what you don't like. Because you see, newly wedded people, you're, that's not who you really are. For the first year or two, you will be nice to each other. <laughs> and then something happens. You, uh, I don't know when the change occurs, the fifth year or the 15th, you will then begin to speak out for yourself. You will say, I'm not doing that anymore. See? And then your mate will do like this. What? <laughs> And, and you will not be afraid. You say, that's right. <laughs> I'm not doing that anymore. And then guess what? You're made to say, well, okay, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. You're going to argue with each other. You're going to get upset with each other. I mean, there will be times when you'll wake up in the morning after a lovely last night. You know, like last night was lovely. And you will look at your mate and he is the dumbest looking thing you have ever seen in your life. And, and you'll get mad at yourself for marrying somebody that looks this dumb. And, and you go, you, for the rest of your life, you'll stay angry with yourself. Well, that's the beginning of it. And, and he'll wake up and, and smile and say hi, and a little dumb looking smile. And you're going to argue with each other. You're going to argue. You have to because this is the only person you know. <laughs> and look, my wife and I, 27 years, you all applauded for it. You probably think everything is just smooth. You see us walk, oh, there they are. We argue, man. We can get on each other's nerves. Do you understand me? I can do two hours on, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, so my wife. And, and my wife can do three hours on, then what is your point? <laughs> now, you got two people married 27 years, sitting in the living room with each other, saying, well, that's not what I'm saying. But after you're married 50 years, that's when the beauty comes in. Because you know old people, they got to be at least 80-something. You understand? Married 50 years, they got to be in the 80s, or late 70s and stuff. You look at them argue. They don't argue long. Matter of fact, they're not even with each other. <laughs> no, look at people married 50 years. You know, the husband's walking and the wife is all back there. You say, Dad, where's Mom? I don't know where she is. <laughs> you know, and they just, but, but they are together. Do you understand? They are together forever. You go to the home, to the house, where, where your parents are, and, and they've been married uh, 40, 50 years. Where's your mother? Right there. Where's your father? Someplace. <laughs> and you say, Mom, where's Dad? Now, this is the man she loves. She said, I don't know and I don't care. <laughs> but they're not arguing with each other. And he'll come up from someplace with the same clothes on that he has on all week. Fathers like to dress like that. And the reason why they're married 50 years is because she's given up. She's not trying to tell him how to dress anymore. She gave up. Ten years ago, trying to get him to put a tie on. He said, I don't want to wear a tie. My mother came to the house. I didn't even understand, but now I do. She came to the house, rang the doorbell. I opened the door. She walked in. I said, where's Dad? She said, he's out in the car. I said, okay, I'll go out. She said, no, he's not coming in. I said, well, you just here to get something and leave? She said, no, I'll be here about four or five hours. and they weren't angry with each other. Understand that. He just wanted to sit in the car. <laughs> and so she said, well, then sit in the car. I'll go in. He said, fine. They weren't angry. If you're newlyweds, you get, well, why is he sitting in the car? I don't know why. <laughs> you know? Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>